Hey Beaver Dam, this is the announcement we have all been waiting for. It is with great joy and anticipation, uh, both on my part and I'm sure many of you, that uh, uh, I make this video today. We make this video to, to release information to you. So I want you to take special notice of what I'm going to give you today. Uh, we're going to make a subsequent video that gives more information and we'll try to uh, get more information and more detail to you in the coming days. Uh, but we have uh, met as leadership and uh, we believe that we are prepared uh, to come back together for morning worship services on May 24th. May 24th will be our first Sunday to have our morning worship services back together. Guys, I, I want to ask you to continue to be patient with us, to uh, pray with us, to call on the Lord and to seek joy in what we have instead of focusing and searching and allowing ourselves to, uh, to find ourselves divided based on that which may not happen right away. This has been a, a tough process and we're still right in the thick of it. Alright, so I'm going to give you a couple more details. We will not have Sunday school between the services. Uh, that decision is made in an attempt to, to be able to get uh, the two services on and off campus without, uh, without having too many people on campus at a time according uh, to the CDC guidelines and the social distancing and so forth that we have all been advised uh, to try to maintain. So we'll have our traditional service at 8.45 on the 24th. We'll have our contemporary service at 11 o'clock on the 24th. There will be no children's church as there is just no possible way for us to have uh, 20 or 30 children back there in that room uh, with, with any number of adults and maintain any level of safe social uh, distancing and monitoring and so forth uh, in that regard. There will also be no nursery services provided. There's no way for us to, because of the way this uh, sickness, this illness progresses, there's no way for us to be sure and to ensure that somebody that is not exhibiting the uh, uh, signs of sickness doesn't either have it or perhaps is a carrier for it. So there's no way for us to guarantee uh, and be able to staff a nursery and guarantee you as parents that that's a safe environment for you uh, to be able to leave those kids. So that's just a, a liability and a, and a safety measure that we want to put in place for you as parents. Look, if, you, if your immune systems are down and you feel like, hey, this is a little too early for me, we understand that. We don't want you to feel guilty about not being here. We're still going to have the videos available to you. They'll be on a delayed basis, but they'll still be available to you, and you can worship at home. But for those of you who are ready to get back and you want to be in this, this room and worship corporately, we're going to do everything we can to responsibly and respectfully make that available to us, to everybody uh, who's ready on the 24th. Uh, I do want to mention, for those of you who have children, uh, we're going to be mindful of that. We've all, many of us have had kids, Brandon and I of course have, and we understand what it's like to, um, to be uh, parents and and not always have your child do exactly what you want them to do when you want them to do it. So uh, we're going to be mindful of that. 
Everybody else in the room, we ask for your uh, understanding. This is going to be much like the, the family services that we have at Christmas. It, it, children will be children. So don't come and don't get upset if, if a child speaks out or whatnot. It, it, it's children being children. And nobody's going to be upset about that. If, uh, if, if it happens to be feeding time for a little one or something like that and you need... Uh, you need that space that's back there, it's available. The doors will be open. We'll do our best to have the video feed going back there. Uh, all things working properly and available, we'll have that on. And uh, we'll have that, that space available to you if you need to go back there for a bit. And uh, that way you won't miss out on what's going on in here. Guys, we love you. We want to get back together. We want you to be able to get back together. We want to do all that we can. But we've just got to do all that we can in, in, in a way that still uh, maintains a certain level of safety for all those that, uh, that are under our watch care. My prayer and my hope is that you understand. My prayer and my hope is that when we come back together, that we will be united in the joy of worshiping the Lord. Let's not come together to divide it on whatever opinions we might have on what could have happened or should have happened or might have happened or what is or is not real about this whole situation. Let's come back together united in the joy of worshiping our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. We look forward to seeing as many of you as want to be here with us on the 24th. God bless you. See you soon.